Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Do you think that Crip Mac, with him being on there, do you think that that, that made him think about you again because you and Crip no. Mac been going back, back Oh well, forth. well, Crip Mac. I didn't talk. really understand what the Crip Mac thing was about. Well, I ain't gonna made, lie. Well, man, you you got to keep in mind. I got to keep in mind. We all playing for numbers. Okay. We all playing for numbers. Charleston White and Crip Mac is trending like a motherfucker. Right now. Why not? Man, you got three point some million. Why not talk about Charleston and Crip Mac? It's going to make for a great response. But this white boy keep them niggas around him. Tameka. They getting exploited. They just was fighting up there the other day. It's always fights up there at his studio. Really? But he got to attach himself to the gang banging niggas because he speak on hip hop culture. Okay, yeah, because that's a gang thing. That, that's what they do. Well, in California, you got to, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you rapping, so you got to interact with the gang banging street niggas. So he got to figure out a way to make them niggas pander to him where they don't rob him, kill him, or exploit him. Okay. Ain't too many white boys gonna come provide him protection and his main topic is hip hop. Yeah, you are right. He gotta make nigga friends. He gotta make nigga friends that'll say, nah man, don't y'all mess with my white boy, this my partner here. And he can feel safe up there. So that's why he got the that's why he got a West Coast presence. Yeah. Ain't too many people in the industry fooling with the West Coast. After the Tupac and Biggie shit, homie, they they over with. After Nipsey Hustle, yeah. they for sure over with. Nobody wants to deal with them. They made a they made a statement and they tried to bring it up Nipsey Hustle. They was like, Well, he spoke on Nipsey. And I know you've told me about Nipsey the character. And then the person, Aubrey, is it? I, I, Irimus. Irimus. Whatever he is, he an Ethiopian I, dude. Irimus, you said that. And, and you always made that clear. But for some reason, people tend to not get it. Well, because uh, poor people love idols. These are poor people. And their idols are gods to them. Their, their idols are God, so they worship these idols. Wow. So to to attack these idols is 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 like attacking their God. Wow. So is 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 uh that Crip Mac dude, is he one of their idols? No, he a fucking retard that <laughs> make for good goddamn entertainment. He like the goddamn me uh, like a good Taco Bell commercial. Yeah, no, nah, ain't nobody idolized no nigga that 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 yeah that's drinking old English eight hundred in twenty twenty one. Oh damn, tattoos yeah. on his face. No, nah, nigga, just <clears throat> the fact that you got an old English eight hundred forty ounce bottle, nigga, and that's your choice of drink. Yeah, that's your choice of drink. No, nah, man, ain't nobody taking nobody like that serious. So yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.